Hello all, Marike here for Study Light. Today I hope to inspire you with a shaker card using some new released products. For my project today I used stems 457, 462, 432, stamp and cutting die 37, cutting die 522 with the matching bliss 14 and to fill the shaker I used shake 5, 7 and 8. I cut a top full white base card for 1 fourth inch by 9 inch and scored at 5.5. Cut a watercolor panel for 1 fourth inch by 5.5 inch and ink blended the panel using cracked pistachio, peacock feathers, bright marigold, picked raspberry and Valenius potion distress ink. I splattered some water and dabbed the water off using a paper towel. Using the inner die out of cutting die 522, I cut the part out of my ink panel and set it aside. My pro tip for this tutorial is to try adding some details into a solid image using your coloring medium. For this card I used stamp 432. I stamped the images using an ink and paper which are both compatible for my coloring medium. Start coloring the images by blending in different colors out of the coloring group you used. In my case I used four different colors of Copic markers. This way, the image has a lot more depth and details to it. For my leaves, I also added some details using a white gel pen. Like with all my tutorials, I do all preparations beforehand. I temporarily added the ink panel onto the base card, glued the die cut part onto the card and removed the panel again. glued the blister on the base and put it aside so it could dry. I added some super sticky tape onto the base card. I filled the shaker and closed it by adding the panel onto the base card. Now it's time to finish off the card. I added all the elements on the card using glue, tape or foam tape.
If you would like to see more of my card making videos for Studio Lite, leave a comment down below and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.